Hello everybody, this is Sans yes, and welcome back to Let's Play Jade Cocoon. Today, we are finally going to enter the Dragonfly Forest. What creatures might await us there? Well, I guess we're gonna find out now. Though I would say Dragonflies should be inside there as well, right? Well, not really. And there we have it! One enemy we've already encountered. Thanks, game. Um, I guess I can show off my new creatures at least, though. For one, we have Moko. Fire and wind. Uh, yeah, fire and wind. But unfortunately, because the creatures I had used had both their elemental attack on horn, uh, Moko only has wind elemental attacks now. But that'll change eventually. At least when I am having new fire elemental creatures. I made Moko into a, a physical attacker, and I'm planning to make this minion. Um, well, I try to keep it balanced between uh, um, defense and speed. Though, if at all, I'd probably go a little more into speed. Alright, and if we fight other elemental creatures, I might be able to show off my other creatures as well. Yeah, at least, um, these creatures here get a bit of experience. Oh, and there's another item, huh? Or is... yeah, there is. A Kickleberry. What does that do? To be honest, I have no idea. Uh, let's see, rearrange... Pickle, but huh? It's not even here. Okay, that's strange. It's not a weapon. It's not anything. Ah, it's a what? Okay, it's a valuable. A rare berry, huh? Okay, you better keep that in mind, right? Might be useful later on. And I guess I'm gonna go the upper path first because there is a new enemy. A Teralco, a flying earth type enemy. Okay, I take it. It's level 4 and I believe a more physical based or average. I don't know exactly. Although it can use magic, so. Yeah, it's not far to assume that it. Okay, I thought it did attack again. Um, that it at least is average. I should be a little more careful that, um, because otherwise I'm gonna kill it accidentally because I actually want to catch it. Like every creature. Seriously, this is more and more turning into Pokemon. <laughs> but yeah, always capture every creature you can get. At the very least, so you can level up your Cocoon Master rank. Because, well, the higher your level is, the easier it is to catch it other minions. And later on, um, yeah. Creatures are going to get strong. And with that, they can easily kill you. <laughs> so you don't want to spend, hey, all too much time trying to capture enemies. But yeah, as you could see just there, enemies can break free. Probably should have weakened Tarako a little bit more, but um, I don't want to risk killing it, especially not with Levant, because he wouldn't even get any experience for that. But yeah, let's try it again. Usually, if it is below the one fourth mark, you should be relatively easy. Uh, catching it should be relatively easy. That's what I wanted to say. But. Oh, come on! Well, okay, it isn't. Uh, I meant the one third mark, not one fourth. But apparently, one third isn't good enough for it. One fourth would be probably better. But one fourth is the red area already, if I'm not mistaken. On. By the way, um, you can only catch as many creatures as you have um, empty cocoons for them, and whenever one of the creatures breaks out, one empty cocoon gets broken, 
I really should just weaken it once more, shouldn't I? <laughs> but now I don't want to anymore. Now I want to catch it with that amount of health. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, with e uh, cocoons can get broken, and that'll reduce your anti cocoon count until you get back to Mabu. And with each caught minion, your anti cocoons will obviously uh, decrease in number as well. No. Oh. Come! No. Stay in there. There we go. Gee! That was a lot harder than it should have been. Uh, yeah. Uh, I still have eight anti cocoons. I guess I can leave it like that. Okay, here we have another stone slab. Knowledge number four. And two more Taracles. I hope that doesn't count as a back attack. It doesn't. Although, um, back attacks don't only work for your enemies, but also for you, so if you are able to back attack an enemy, you will also get another free attack. And that there. Yeah, this dungeon here is mostly earth and... earth and wind elemental, actually. Because um, Tarako's alternate form will be air elemental, so that makes actually a lot more sense again. And I just could have attacked it. No! Well, without killing it, actually. That would have made things a lot easier. Oh well. And it's down. Alright, level ups. And I'm gonna fight you later. Maybe. Whoa! What the heck was that? Oh, another Tarako. Alright. That Tarako wasn't all too difficult either, especially since Smoko now leveled up again and... Uh, and I really want to battle other elemental creatures now. Not on the Earth! Another Tarako! Turn around, Levant! Whoa! Two Levant, uh, Tarakos. I guess it's a better option to retreat now since Moko is nuts. Um, that might get dangerous. Retreat! Yeah, retreat might not actually work if you're unlucky. And I guess the left path? Yeah, the left path was a dead end, so let's go there first. At least I believe the left path here was dead end, but if not, I'm gonna see it. And I was correct, this is a dead end. And here we get magic usage number one. For some reason, Frap likes crashing a lot lately. And I have no idea why. Um. Oh wait, actually let's take the right ray for now. Um uh, this pedestal here, you'll have to find a specific item for that first before you can use it and open the gate over there. And what is it with the enemies in ambushing me that much lately? And um, I would look I would say there is something hidden in this place, but I'm not sure and I can't see anything either. Huh. Apparently this was just a useless room after all. Okay. Let's go to the right then. Moko sure is taking a beating there. And it doesn't help that Moko is my only wind elemental attacker. And there should be a path to the right there. Or to the left? Was this just a dead end as well? Huh. Okay. I could have sworn that place you leads somewhere. But apparently not. Okay. Well then. Uh, <laughs> I guess it's time to head back and take the other path. The one uh, we didn't take at the beginning. Well. Actually, it is quite late again already, so I guess we'll be taking the other path next time on Let's Play 
Jade Cocoon. This was Sans Yes, and farewell for now.